Suspension and expulsion is used to an extent that's damaging our student population. We have to make sure our students, our children, are treated fairly. Cornerstone Theatre Company, Creative Talk It Out, a community conversation to fix school discipline. We're trying to bridge the gaps between administrators, teachers, students, parents, so there can be a change. Cornerstone first came to Sacramento in June 2012 for Talk It Out, looking at this issue of school discipline. They began talking with parents, teachers, and youth who have actually been suspended and expelled. And out of that, created the first play called Zero. It's good that we can tell our own story because of the zero tolerance policy directly affect us as students. Uh, you miss one day school, uh, if we kick you out, you miss an assignment, you get kicked out like a dad. When I got suspended, I, we can't we can't make up no work because it's an F. It's just an F in our grade book. I had a 2.5, I came back with a 0.6. When she asked us what our goals were, dream real big, a lot of us said, okay, well, I want to graduate high school. But she said, dream big, and we were like thinking about high school. Mm -hmm. I mean, to me, that kind of says a lot. I really wanted to let everybody know, hey, we're struggling and we need help. The first summer of Talk It Out was very exciting because Zero was the first theatrical production that had ever been produced at the Sacramento Capitol. The same day Zero was being presented, there were a number of bills being voted on that would really change the face of school discipline in the state. I couldn't believe how many of the staffers and community members came to make it happen. Punk, pay attention. I don't believe your excuses. I tried, but I can't anymore. Wake up, James. I don't know what that problem is, son. A picture is worth a thousand words. A play is worth three million. The stories were so real, so vivid, and everybody could relate. I think it's so important for the public to understand that there are state laws, there are things in our education code that determine what can and cannot happen in our schools. We, the people, have to engage in the legislative process. And following the Talk It Out performance, there were actually a number of bills that Governor Brown signed into law looking at this school discipline issue. Before this, I wouldn't have thought I had any part to play in what the government was doing. But like, today made me realize, like, I do have a voice, I can be heard. Us being able to come here and do the play was just truly a blessing. And then a year later, Cornerstone was invited back to Sacramento to recreate the Talk It Out program. What we heard from our partners at the Black Parallel School Board was that they were really able to use Talk It Out as a teaching tool over the year. The reason why we use it as teachable moments because the play is very revealing of the impact of suspension and expulsion on young people. It gave the principal an opportunity to understand what really is going on in young people's lives. It was really interesting and exciting to see how much the conversation had moved forward over a year. And folks are really ready to take the conversation forward and look at the complexity of the issue. So what's going on with you? This is the fifth referral in two weeks. And you know what all of them say? Willful defiance. The play Willful is dressing Willful Defiance. If you're chewing gum in class, you're talking back to your teacher, you're passing notes or something in class, it's Willful Defiance. Miss Rich tell me to be quiet when everyone else in the class is talking too? She tells me I'm the problem. She never picks on anybody else. Willful Defiance is an issue. I hope that they, as policymakers, can change the policies regarding it. I've introduced legislation, Assembly Bill 420, that is designed to reduce using willful defiance as the basis for suspending students out of school uh, or expelling them. I believe if plays like this happened in school and the administrators seen what steps they can necessarily take, then it would really change. I thought it was wonderful. Uh, I literally saw myself right in that situation. A play like this really puts things in perspective. I think it really, really can make an impact. It was good to see like all the community people who had come out to see this play. There was a lot of questions and they were wondering like how we could see change in our community. And so I felt like it was a really powerful thing to see. A big part of the Talk It Out program is to facilitate conversation and dialogue that can really be a catalyst for change around this issue a long time after the performance. 
I'm hoping Sacramento sends it out to school districts, to other community leaders, and let them get a feeling that something's really got to be done now. I think it's going to hit their heart, and they're going to say, man, let's take a real look at this, and let's do something.